Hey, hey, fractional percents. Ugh. That's like, you know, rat poison arsenic. Both numbers in the same, or both terms in the same uh, lesson. Yeesh. Okay. Well, uh, everybody hates fractions and percents unless you're one of those homeschool nerds, which you might be. Anyway, I love them. Uh, I think they're making logical sense. I love messing around with them and stuff. But let's, let's do this. Let's make them quick. If you hate them, then fine. Let's get them out of the way and do them quickly and learn so you, learn so you can get, it, get them out of there and do something better. Okay? So you tell me what's the basic rule for converting percents into decimals. In other words, let's say you have 58%. What's the rule in converting that to a decimal? You just go like this, right? You move it over twice. So that's 58% so is the same thing as 0.58, right? Okay. So once you have a rule, I'm telling you, th listen, you, you got in algebra and in any other math you mess with, if you have a rule or you have a formula or you have a method, use the method. Don't skip it. You know, don't think, oh no, it's a different math. Nope. If the method works, use the method. Okay. And that's what we're going to do here. So if you have a method, when they tell you percent, you move it over twice to the left, then do it every time. doesn't matter what it looks like. It's still the same thing. You move it over to the left two times. So let's do that. All right. So let's write 37 as a decimal number. 0.37, right? Move it over twice. All right. Write 78.6 as a decimal number. Well, you know, you need to just, where is the decimal right now? Whatever it is, you move it over twice. So you go like that. Doesn't matter if it's a oh, point this or that decimal. Who gives a rip? Just do the method, which gives you this number, 0.786. You're done. That's 786 thousandths, all right? Write 4.2% as a decimal number. Well, look, 4.2%. What do you do? You move it over twice, one, two. There you go, there's your decimal. Now you might go, what goes there? And of course the answer is the letter U goes, no, it doesn't, okay, a zero goes there, okay? So you'd write 0 0.042. How would you read this number? You tell me. It's 42 what? Thousandths, right? So 42 th over a thousand is the same thing as 4.2%. There you go. Use the method, okay? What is that as a decimal number, okay? Don't get cute. Do the method, all right? We know the method is move it over to the left. But you go, oh no, but it's already to the, I don't care. We already have a method. Use the method. The method goes, yoop, yoop, and there you go. Okay, you stick zeros in there. So the answer is 0. 0.0005. That is five, if you were to do a fraction, five tenths, five hundredths, Five thousandths, five ten thousandths. That's your answer. You don't have to mess with it. I mean, it just just to so steal no. And that's it. You've got a method. Use the method. All right. Let's write this four and a half percent as a decimal number. Ooh. Now, the only thing different is they don't have the half as a decimal. Well, fine. You know what half is as a decimal. That's the same thing as four point five percent, right? And you go, write that as a decimal number. Fine. The method is, you, you, there you go. Point, and you put a zero. So the answer is 0 0.045, which is 45 tenths, hundredths, thousandths. 45 thousandths, that's the same thing. Okay, that's it. That's the method. The method works, use it. Okay, uh, write this as a decimal number. Well, piece of cake. Every fraction, we've said this about 50 times, by we, I mean, you know, me. Okay. Every fraction is what kind of an operation? Okay, it, it, here, I won't, I'm not going to give away the answer. Okay, here, I'll just give you a clue. All right, every fraction is what kind of an operation? I'll get, go ahead and pause it if you need to take a look at that for a few minutes and think. Okay, every fraction is a division problem. Division problem. So this is like saying, Three pizzas divided among 20 kids. All right, how much of a pizza do you get as a decimal? You just do that blame division, okay? That's three divided by 20. So there you go. Don't do 20 divided by three, three divided by 20, right? Just throw a couple of decimals there. 20 into 30 goes one time. There's 10 left over. And 20 into 100 goes five times. And there you go, there's your decimal number. 
just division. Every fraction is a division problem. Okay, now let's do a word problem or word puzzle. Okay, four and one half percent of the students were clinically insane and therefore did not love algebra one half quizzes. If there were 1,200 students in all, how many did not love algebra one half quizzes? Okay, this is the same old stuff you've been doing for months now. Your job is to find, is to create a little algebra equation out of that little paragraph there. Okay, so four and a half percent, you know, did not love algebra. If there were 1,200 students. How many did not love? Yeah. So in other words, the question you are asking is, what is four and a half percent, four point five percent of 1,200? Right now, pause it if you want to. Think about this. That's what you're asking, right? Four and a half percent, blah, 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 didn't love them. There were, how many, oh, that's what you're asking. What is four and a half percent of 1,200? There you go, that's it. So you're gonna go what x is equals four and a half percent. Don't forget what you're doing, okay? You're going like that. So it's 0 0.045 of multiplied by 1,200. There we go. That's all there is to it. Now, here, here's the deal. If you want to go ahead and write this as a fraction, I mean, you could if you wanted to. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can do this long math or whatever. Anyway, you'll find the answer is 54 if you, you know, do the arithmetic. Now, if you don't like messing with this kind of stuff, fine. If you're going, oh, there's all those zeros and all this stuff, whatever. Okay, fine. What you can do is you can go you can take this decimal and go over twice and just clean up the zeros. Then if you do it, went to the left twice on that one, you go to the right twice on that one. So if you want to do an easier multiplication problem, it's 4.5 times 12, which is 54. Now, if you also wanted to go 0 0.045, wait a minute, 0 0.045 uh, over one, that's my fraction. Oh, if I go three times, that'll be one, two, three, 45 over Three times, one, two, three, that'll be a thousand. 45 over a thousand times 1200. And then you can go, okay, I'm multiplying this, right? There's what I'm doing. Oop, two zeros, I move two zeros there. And let's see here, um, I don't know, 45 over 10, I can reduce that. That's gonna be, um, let's see, five goes into 45 nine times, five goes into 10 two times. And then, wait a minute, 12 and two, oop, it goes into there once. And then 12, uh, 12, 2 goes into 12 6 times, 9 times 6, 54, there you go, boom, okay. All you need to do is take these things and go do the same old way you've always done these word problems as you figure out, you know, the, what's the, you know, the equation. The second thing is you go 4.5% or whatever. All you need to do is just make sure you follow the rule that you go back and you move it over twice and there you go. So, okay, go to page 337. Try this practice problem, pause it right here, and give it a whirl and come back when you're done. Okay, well, let's, uh, you know, I don't know, percent is point zero. I don't know, let's do something here a little different. Oh, one fourth of percent, yeah, point zero four percent. All right, that's a, a disaster looking, right? Point zero four percent, you just go you, you, and then point zero 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 four. That's your decimal. The rule is you move it over twice. There you go. Now you could, you know, if you wanted to do a fraction, you could go, okay, well that's 0 0.0004 over one. Now to get rid of this and get and make these both integers, you'd go one, two, three, four, that's gonna be four. Then you go, or the one, and then you go one, two, three, four. There you go. So the fraction is four ten thousandths. That's it, okay? Let's look at the second one. 22.5%, just write it like this, 22.5%. The rule is you yoink it over twice, so your decimal is gonna be 0.225, all right? A fraction, fine, 0.225 over one. That's my fraction. If you wanna make these integers, just yank it over three times, that's gonna give you 225. And since you did it to that, do it three times there, that'll give you a thousand. And you can reduce that fraction. It'd actually be something, what, nine fortieths is what it would be. So there you go. All right, one fourth of a percent. 
I don't know. You know what a fourth is as a, as a decimal, right? 0.25. So 0.25%. Well, the rule is newsflash to make a, per, uh, a, a percent into a decimal. You go whoop, whoop, like that. So you got it. 0 0.0025. That's your decimal. Fraction, make it a fraction. Put it over one. There you go. To move it over, you got to go four times over this time, right? 25. And you're going to go four zeros. One, two, three, four. So your fraction will be 25 over 10,000. That's it. Okay. All right. If you missed anything, go back there and just check it out again. But get that method down and follow the method. Even if you think, I don't exactly understand what's going on, you can think a little bit about it. But just do the method after a while. Um, It'll kind of come to you what's going on. So, all right. Do a good job today with your practice problem sets. Tell mom and dad or grandma or whoever, give them a hug and tell them, tell them thanks for homeschooling me. See y'all.